So a question we've been asked recently is why do big, well-established brands sometimes fail when it comes to their online presence? Um, in my opinion, it's all to do with the user experience. Um, part of what's going to give the user a good experience online is a good information architecture. So does your underlying structure, layout and navigation um, work with the user's expectations? Is it allowing the user to complete what they want to do online? Um, recently, Waitrose um, did a whole redesign on their website. They spent £10 million on it. And while it looks and feels great, um, when you start to interact with it, and when you start to actually complete a task on the website, it all goes pear-shaped. That's if you can find the pears. Um, what they've actually done is they've categorised their products and the navigation in this kind of quirky little way to try and match how people would organise their products at home. So they've got things in the cupboard, they've got things in the fridge, freezer, etc. Now, I don't know about you, but I put my bread in the fridge and try and find a loaf of bread online, you just can't do it. It's a bit confusing and because of this they've got a load of frustrated users, a lot of confused users and a lot of bad feedback. So, all in all, it's all about the user experience. What do you think?